Hello, I am reviewing the company HelloFresh, which is a food delivery service that provides you with the ingredients and recipe cards for making home-cooked meals. This helps save you the hassle of having to go around supermarkets, weighing out food yourself and often ending up with excess of ingredients due to bulk buying and them all going to waste, being left in the back of the cupboard or just simply having to be thrown out of the fresh items. And um, now, a thing to note is that uh, this company is based both in the US and in the UK, and with the UK version. Uh, Whilst this is greatly favoured in the US, and has solved many uh, of the mealtime problems over there, in the UK, well, there's been a, a bit of a backlash. Quite a few people have complained about missing or poor quality items. Uh, I myself have had uh, quite a few instances where there was missing items or damaged goods. Last week I did a filming of unboxing and uh, this one was damaged in the process of uh, delivery by the service Yodel. And uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to review that one fairly because there had been far too much damage done to the goods inside. Um, Now, I've made complaints about it to the company, and uh, they have very kindly reimbursed me the cost of ingredients that were damaged in the course of about uh, nine weeks, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, And they've assured me that this time there should be no problems, uh, that the, they've double checked the order to make sure everything is intact and that everything is there. There's nothing missing, nothing damaged, nothing of poor quality. So we shall unbox this and see whether or not they have upheld to their promise. So I'm just going to put my phone right over here. Uh, I need to apologise for this because uh, I don't really have uh, anything like a stand. So I hope my voice is not go quiet. Let's see. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I'm propping it against two pieces of wood and uh, <laughs> and, a, uh, and a bottle of uh, washing up liquid. So I hope this stays upright and stays stable. So here we go, uh, unboxing. <sighs> I hope everything uh, appears in front of the camera. So, these are the recipe cards that were given, and as you see, they have a number at the top. This, uh, like that one there, that's a 25, that one is 3. So these correspond to the numbers that are inside the boxes. Um, so, let's, let's bring those out, we'll put those there for now. That's the freezer bag with all the meat and cheese in it. So, here we go with the first bag, which is bag number 25. Hope you can see that all right. So, number 25 on the sheets is this one the lemongrass beef lab style salad. So, in this uh, bag, uh, we won't uh, we won't check the meat just yet because uh, these are inside another bag. So uh, I think that might be a meat. I don't know sambal and beef mint. So we'll ignore those two for now. Uh, so what we should have in the bag is some jasmine rice, a carrot, a lime, some baby gem lettuce, uh, a shallot. Um, <coughs> I'm assuming that's in a ba- uh, little packet. Ginger and lemongrass puree, manjitut and Ket Jack Manis. Now, here's something that I would like to suggest to HelloFresh, is that uh, on these cards, it would be nice if you would include how many are in there, in the number, you see, because in order to find out how many you need, uh, one sec, let's try and uh, put this to double if I can. 
Right. Whoa! <laughs> there goes my phone. Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's uh, let's let's just let's just handle this normally, shall we? Okay. So uh, on the back here, you can see. Um, right, this measures like the catnip manis or cat catnip manis. <laughs> that we need two satches of these. Now, it doesn't tell you that on the front. It just says there, a cat jack manis. It doesn't tell you how many. So, uh, that would be something nice to have, HelloFresh, so that uh, we can look straight away at the front and go, oh yes, two satchets of that, three of that, and all, whatever. So, how come I've got two of these cards? Look, I've got two of them. <laughs> this sometimes happens. You end up with uh, an extra recipe leaflet. Right, so uh, let's go back to to that size. Okay, so bag number 25. Now, to do this with one hand now, I really wanted to do this with two hands because uh, it's not so easy to do this with one hand. All right, so let's... Uh, like I said, it's not so easy to do with one hand. Um... Right, so let's try it like this. Oh, God. <laughs> I might have to do away with the knife here. I don't, I'm, not, I'm managing, I'm managing, I'm managing. Let's see that with the fingers. There we go. Okay, so this is bag number 25. There's all our ingredients minus the meat, which is in the freezer bag. So, oh, and here's here's another thing also. Uh, the the uh, the bag that the meat and cheese comes in, uh, that is all obviously what's to go in the fridge, but not everything that they put in these bags uh, goes in the cupboard. There are some things that have to go in the fridge as well. Um, you know, things like the lettuce and uh, what the heck. Look at this. Look at this. Right. How many of these have I got? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let, let's let's count what we've got here. So that's that's the baby gem lattice, right? Um, we here we have the manji too. Oh, I was told that one of the recipes would have something incorrect on the front. Um, we'll figure out which one that is later. Right, there's the lime. Um, that's the shallot. We have a, a carrot. <laughs> a bit wonky, but it's, it's fine. It's still edible. Now, that's the ketchup manis. Hey, I said it right this time. So we've got two sachets of those. What else have we got in there? That is, oh, that's the lemongrass and ginger garlic puree. And um, is this the last item? Jasmine rice. So if we compare that with what's on the recipe card there, let's uh, zoom in. So uh, let's put all these back as, uh, as we check check them off so that's the right so there we have the rice the carrot the lime uh, the baby gem lettuce the shallot ginger and lemongrass puree manji too and two sachets of ketchup manis. Now we didn't count the sambal and the beef mince. Uh, you know what? I should actually probably do this now is make sure that we have those items. So hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to put my phone back on the the temperamental um, stand. <laughs> Hope this doesn't fall over. <laughs> Sorry about the hand in the way. Okay, so this is the freezer bag or rather the chilled bag. Uh, so we'll see if those ingredients are in. And if, yeah, we'll put we'll put them in the uh, the numbered bag anyways because 
I tend to just stick what's all the bags straight in the fridge. I know I don't have to, you know, there's things like pasta in there. I know I don't have to, but then it saves me having to faff around pulling out what I think goes in the fridge and uh, and then getting it all lost and not knowing where it is. So what do we have here? Right, that's the beef mince. So make sure that's the right quantity. It says 240 right there uh, on the recipe booklet. Yeah, it's 240 grams of beef mince. And 15 grams of sambal. Um, I don't know what sambal looks like, but anyway. I've also got a, oh, some cheesecakes. Yum! I absolutely love those ones. They are the best, in, in my opinion. Alright, so we've got things like uh, some mushrooms and some pork mints. <coughs> and uh, loads upon loads of little chill bags. I see something else is down there. I've got, oh, garlic! <laughs> of course! Uh, every time uh, a recipe has like one bowl, uh, clove of garlic, they send an entire bulb. Uh, I've now cut, I think, nine of those in total now. I've been collecting garlic because I don't use it all. And down here we have two little blocks of cheeses, very specific ones as well, Red Leicester. Uh, okay, so I'll put those there. And uh, the rest is all freezer bag by the look of it. Yeah, okay, so I'm hoping that's not all the meat because, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember going vegetarian this week. There's probably a, another bag that's inside the second box. Uh, so we didn't find the sambal. Um, that's, that's a concern, uh, but that might be the, the extra ingredient that they told me was uh, incorrect. We'll, we'll work that out later. Okay, right. So that's bag number 25, which we'll put out of the way. Right. Next to come out is... Oops, that would be my, uh, my cooker because I put the thing on top of the induction hob. Right. So next we have bag number four. Right, so bag number... F recipe card number four. Wait a second. Oh, right. okay. I was a bit worried then because I saw that I only had three recipe cards. I guess they were three in the other box. All right. Um, okay, so recipe number four. That's the cheesy pepper and mushroom tortitsas. Mmm, yummy. So let's open up the bag. Again, not so easy with one hand. Hold on a second. Oh, I am having such a really hard time with this one. That label's actually peeling off. Oh, that's even better. There we go. Means I can reseal it. Excellent. That would be really cool if we could have like resealable labels. You know, a little flap at the bottom that you pull it open so you can see what's in your bag, and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, and then just seal it back over again. That's another excellent suggestion for you, HelloFresh, uh, is to have uh, reopenable bags, or at least resealable bags, in, in the terms of uh, you know a, a little flap at the end of your stickers. Right, so let's get everything. Oh, hey, there's a. A bit of a yellow one in there, but uh, that's, the, that's the other thing that I, that I should have checked. Uh, I don't think we had anything like like uh, like salad in the other one, you know, except for that uh, that lettuce, and that seemed fine. But sometimes you end up with some very limp-looking leaves or slimy-looking leaves. Uh, we only got one there. That's fine. We'll discard that when I cook with it. It's no big problem. Okay, we got some. Uh, some mini wraps. So we're getting there. Ooh, tomato puree. <coughs> More tomato puree. A couple of very large sweet potatoes. That's the other one. And check these and make sure they're perfectly fine. Yep, they're looking good. And then, last but not least, 
Uh, red wine vinegar. Okay, so uh, let's check the amounts on the card. So we'll zoom in. Oh, <laughs> that is quite a zoom in. So for this one, we need yeah, two sweet potatoes, a bell pepper. Interesting. We do not have the bell pepper. We are missing an ingredient. So that's our first missing, or maybe even second missing, uh, if the uh, if the sambal isn't actually uh, an item that we're supposed to use. But yeah, we're, we're missing a pepper. So that's a bad one this weekend. Uh, let's see. Uh, garlic clove, red Leicester cheese. Um, and it does, oddly enough, now the red Leicester cheese says sixty grams. These are these are blocks of thirty. So instead of saying like thirty grams times two, it says sixty grams. So we need to take that in mind. Um, sliced mushrooms. Yep, I pulled those out of the the other bag earlier. Red wine vinegar, tomato puree, two sachets, uh, some tortilla wraps, and rocket salad. So that seems like everything that's uh, that's right here. So here we have. Let's do this now. So two potatoes, the pepper we are missing, uh, red Leicester cheese. That's two cheeses. Uh, the sliced mushrooms. Red wine, red wine and vinegar. Oh wait, that might be the issue. Oh, they said it was on the front. You see, this says, right, see this? It says red wine and vinegar. And I think that was meant to be like the two in one, red wine and vinegar. We'll actually check the recipe and see what it says here. Here we go, put the red wine and vinegar. So. This is the one that was an error. So we have two missing ingredients. We are missing the sambal from the first recipe and uh, the bell pepper from the second recipe. Oh dear, this is not looking good for, for what's supposed to be uh, checked with extra care to make sure everything was there. We are missing these things. So uh, red wine and vinegar. Uh, one sachet, yeah, that's the, that's the one sachet. Um, the tomato puree, two packets, yep, we got those there. One, two. Uh, plain tacos, yep, there we go, the plain tacos. And the tortilla rocket, what? <laughs> yeah, they've definitely had a, a bit of a problem with this uh, recipe sheet, haven't they? So there we go, that's bag number four. And, uh, oh, right, um, might have a hard time resealing this on all this. Uh, pull that label off completely. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> Doing all that at, uh, Double focus as well. Oh dear, there's our, uh, there's our sticky label. Hold on. It's so sticky it's sticking to itself. Right. So there we go, bag number four. So, oh god, it's not sealing again. Uh, Alright, so was that, that was, oh, we've got one more. We've got one more, forgot about that. Okay. Uh, so this one now will be the Thai style pork rice bowl, which is number three, which is what we've got here. So let's hope nothing is missing or damaged in this one. Yeah, I just use my fingers to open that one rather than faffing about with a knife. So we have some coriander. green beans uh, ooh, chili pepper there's another shallot all this ketchup manis stuff ooh, I love to use that <laughs> that'll be the basmati rice 
Uh, is that another sachet of uh, ketchup mayonnaise? Yes, it is. Some kind of soy sauce, I guess. Yeah, that looks like soy sauce to me. And is that it for this one? Yep, that's it for that bag. Right. Okay, so uh, since we've got two... Yep, right, right. Since we've got two sachets of ketchup mayonnaise, let's look at the back of this recipe. Make sure it actually says that we have two... Yeah, there we go. What two sachets of ketchup mayonnaise? Right. Sorry, let's stay in focus here. Right. Okay, so for this, let's see. So we need the basmati rice, uh, shallots, uh, the garlic clove. Yes, we know we definitely have the garlic clove. We have way more garlic than we'll ever use in the lifetime. A red chili. Oh, let's bring all this together. Where uh, the green beans? Yeah, they all look look nice and fresh to me. Yep, green beans. Uh, the pork mince. What's that thing over there? Uh, the, the cat jack manis. That's those two. There we go. Uh, soy sauce. Coriander. Let's have a, a real good look at this. I mean, the, box, uh, the bag is a little condensed. Uh, I've got a bit of condensation in there, so I'll uh, make it a bit difficult to see. But, uh, oh, it, looks, it looks fine to me at first glance. Don't see any slimy looking ones. Open this bag a bit better. Oh, can't really tell, but it looks all nice and fresh in there, anyways. So, right, that's the coriander. So, nothing missing from bag number three. There is a, there's an optional item which we didn't go for. We went for pork. Uh, basically, with the optional items, let's say you didn't want pork, you wanted beef. So, uh, instead of pork, they'll send you beef. And um, they've got it mentioned there, beef mints, if it was optional, which it isn't. So, that's bad. That's box number one. Hey! Right. So now I shall put that box out the way. Go down to <coughs> box number two. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's zoom out here. Lovely. The dinner is solved. It certainly is. When you've got all the ingredients. So here we go with the recipe card. So you get to see what's inside the box this time. Woo so we have, let's see, we have one, two, Three recipe cards. Yay! We don't have six or seven of them. <laughs> Perfect. That's our little chilled bag. Everything that's in the chilled bag goes in the fridge. Uh, everything that's in the bag is assumed to go in a cupboard, but uh, we end up putting it in the fridge anyways because there are some fridge items in there. Oh, oh this is ugh, hard to take out with one hand. Okay, let's pop that there for now. Let's move the recipe sheets over to the side. So we're starting off with box number one. Right, excellent, because we have recipe card number one right here. So this is the roast chicken breast. Yummy. Right, so there we go. So we should have, all oh, right, yeah, we need to open up the, the chilled bag. Where did I put that now? Now, that's not that's not a question you want to hear from somebody like myself. Now, where did I put that knife? Uh, oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. So, okay, very carefully to open this. Oh, like that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a person like me loose with a knife. <laughs> Every time I 
handle something like a knife, you know, a big kitchen knife or a, or a cleaver. If uh, if my husband sees me with it, he runs out of the room pronto. <laughs> Very sound advice to do that. Right, put the knife aside. Right, right. Ah, right, let's see what we have here. Oh, we have some peas. Fresh peas, wow. Uh, oh, there's quite a few items in this one. Oh, let's zoom out a bit. Ah, so that feels like... Ah, that's pork. Oh, I'm all this stuff. I mean, I'm running out of space as it is. Uh, put that on top of that. It doesn't really matter. That looks like fish to me. Yes, bream. Yum. Some little mushrooms. More items in here still. Uh, that's chicken breast fillets. That's, uh, that's a block of uh, cheddar cheese. Is there anything else in here? Oh, look. <laughs> look what I see. Garlic! <laughs> the complimentary garlic. We now have ten, cl ten bulbs of garlic. Uh, capers. Yeah. Uh, not too bad at all, like chopped into tiny little bits and part of the recipe you know it's our freezer bag that's left in there yeah so we can put that aside no i'm gonna stick this oh i was gonna stick it in the sink but there's something already in there never mind right uh okay let's um let's see what's in bag number one So, according to this, we should have the chicken fillets. Yeah, let's put those over there. Yep. Okay. And, and the mushrooms, they go with that. Okay. Let's take out what we, what we can see. Is a carrot. Oh. Some potatoes. And even more carrots. Three carrots? That's a lot of carrot. Holy shrimp! What do you think? Oh yeah, rabbits, uh, an onion, and oh, there's something else left in there. Some kind of red wine juice. Okay, right. So according to our recipe sheet, let's check how many carrots I mentioned on the back of this. Three carrots. Wow, man. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's quite a quite a recipe there we've got. Okay, so uh first of all the chicken fillets. Oh right. yeah, we put them over there, right? So we have the chicken fillets. Uh the three carrots. And they all look they all look healthy to me. Yep. Look fine, no damage or anything like that, no half pieces. Yep. Uh we'll skip the garlic because we know we already have it. Now then, potatoes. I've, I've had a few problems with potatoes. Uh, one time there was a potato that looked like it got slashed during the harvest and uh, it was in a very bad shape, I had to replace it. Other times we've had potatoes that were green. Um, and now eating potatoes that have, that has gone green is quite bad for, for us humans, you know. It, it, uh, it's caused by when the potato is exposed to sunlight and um, and it causes it to turn green and it releases certain toxins into the potato if it does that. And those toxins are quite, uh, well, they're toxic to humans. Um, it can make you very, very ill indeed. So I don't see any green potatoes there. That one looks fine. Okay, red onion. It's left a little bit piece behind. Uh, sliced mushrooms. Uh, all right, yeah, that was that bag that's over there. The sliced mushrooms and the red wine juice. There we go. Right, that's that's card number one. No missing or damaged items there. So. Doing okay so far. And so we still have the two missing items from the other uh, two bags that we had earlier. Now then, next is 
bag number 35 for recipe number 35 which is ultimate fish and chips so yeah friday afternoon meal it used to be a tradition with my parents to have fish on a friday and uh, a special kind of roast on a sunday uh, I didn't follow that tradition until fairly recently and then I thought, hey, why not do that? Why not do what my parents did? I mean, aside, aside from actually shopping for the ingredients, this is basically what my parents did. They got the fresh ingredients from the, from, uh, the grocers and from the butchers rather than going into a supermarket. Anything else that they couldn't get, uh, they got from the supermarkets so or stuff like kitchen paper, toilet paper, that kind of thing. And uh, and then my mum would pan cook everything, and uh, we we were actually doing really well back in those days, even though it was some really tough financial times. Uh, but uh, we did really well. We we ate well until uh, my my father got a bit lazy, started uh, going down the good old ready meal route, and then we kind of ballooned in weight. Uh, this this is something that I should probably mention. Uh, since joining Hello Fresh about nine weeks ago. I have lost over a stone in weight and that's from ditching the ready meals and going with healthily home cooked foods instead and they're much more satisfying, they're much more tasty, uh, they're not, they don't uh, end up being slimy goop which uh, ready meals often are, even the healthier options, they're mega times worse, it really is like eating pure garbage. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much HelloFresh for helping me achieve my 5% weight loss goal. I am now on the 10% weight loss goal. I am looking forward to seeing the weight finally drop off because I am a very, very big person. I am classified as morbidly obese and uh, you know, I, I'm getting help with it, but um, <coughs> I seem to be doing fine so far just by eating with HelloFresh. Uh, I am very, very thankful. Yes, we've had ups and downs with poor orders, lots of missing items, lots of damaged items, but all in all, the weight loss trumps all of it. Thank you very much. I am very, very pleased. Anyhow, here we go with the checking of the potatoes. Uh, none appear damaged. They look a little old, but that's fine. All potatoes are fine. There's nothing wrong with old potatoes. Uh, and none of them appear green as far as I can see. Yeah, it's just, just all potatoes, that's all. Yeah, perfect. So that was the potato, and then we have the lemon. Flat leaf parsley, let's take a jolly good look at that as much as we can. It's good. That's, that's just an ordinary leaf, there's nothing wrong with that one. Uh, from the back it all looks fine. Yeah, I don't see any poor leaves in there. Right, uh, panko breadcrumbs. There we go, some panko breadcrumbs. The capers. Should have known the capers would go with the fish. Uh, mayonnaise. Now, let's check the back of this leaflet. See what it says. Uh, Mayonnaise, two sachets. There we go, so that's our two sachets of mayonnaise. Perfect. Uh, next, uh, sea bream foot. Uh, fish. It's a bit big actually, I'll uh, leave that one out of the bag and just put it straight in the fridge as it is. And lastly, the peas. Very fresh, very healthy looking. Is that on the outside or is that on the outside? Right, that was on the outside. I'm a bit worried then. Might have a. Oh no, that. Oh yeah, it's on the surface. Yeah, it's not, not inside there. So yeah, we got some very healthy looking peas. Excellent. Right, no issues with that one. Well, I'll, I'll put this back in the box because I'm kind of running out of space to put things on now. All right, lastly, we have. Let's put that card away. So recipe number nine, which is the cheese and caramelized onion pork steak. When well, we know the pork's over there because we can see it. Right. Uh, let's open this up. Okay. 
bag. And if I take things out. Little potatoes. Oh, you can actually see those ones perfectly. Excellent. And, uh, is that all that's in there? Right, okay. Right. So for this recipe, we need potatoes. And they look very healthy, very, very white potatoes. No damaged goods there. Beautiful. Um, right, the pork steak. Again, it's in the big box, so we'll leave that out. We'll put that just directly in the fridge because it's just too big. Green beans. They look okay. Yeah. Yeah, they all look healthy, they all look fine to me, nice and fresh looking. Perfect. Uh, the mature cheddar cheese, which we have there. And uh, two sachets of onion marmalade. Is that what it says back here? No, it says one. Interesting. Oh, they're 20 gram each, right. <laughs> this is another one of those things, right. So it says 40 grams, so that's two of those, so... We have two of them, and that is it for the unboxing. So, yep, those are our meats to put straight into the fridge, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah, good, good attempt, Hello Fresh. We do have two missing items. Um, I will uh, mention this in the email that I sent to the. Uh, uh, well, the representatives of Hello Fresh, you know, say, yeah, we're missing the pepper and whatever that other stuff was, the uh, some kind of a sauce or whatever. Um, but that's no big issue. I mean, peppers look like less than, less than a quid, you know. I don't know what the sauce is, but we'll probably have to do that. I don't think there's anything special about it. I mean, from this picture, the sauce is all drizzled all over the top. And uh, if we have a look at what that recipe says there... Um, Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Finish with a drizzle of sambal. So it doesn't matter that we don't have it. It's not important. It's probably some kind of spicy sauce, um, which, you know, I don't really need it. I'm not a huge fan of spice, so we don't mind missing the sambal. But the, pe but the pepper, I'm going to have to buy a new pepper this weekend, and that's kind of it. Uh, so, yeah. Great. I'm looking forward to cooking all of those throughout the week. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching our unboxing. Um, once again, thank you very much to HelloFresh uh, for for your service. You know, do be a bit more aware of you know if uh, if items are not being uh, included in the bags. You know, a bit more care needs to be taken. Um, other than that, uh, great job so far. Um, <laughs> aside, aside from uh, what was it was it not last week but it was the week before that we had missing meat uh for two recipes that was pretty pretty darned uh stressful having to replace those meats uh yeah but but anyways th thanks for watching guys um you know if you want to try out hello fresh uh you know the check out their website uh which is hellofresh.co.uk uh, yeah, do be aware, you might end up with missing ingredients, <laughs> or even damaged ones. I, I highly recommend as well, if you have anything that has spring onion, to buy a bunch of fresh spring onion from your local grocer, because those spring onions are very questionable at most. Uh, our last uh, box had one that was bent at a 90 degree angle and looking absolutely unhealthy, limpy, yeah, <laughs> it didn't look great, I can tell you that much, <laughs> so... Yeah, alright, well, take care guys, and once again, thanks for watching, bye-bye.